Hey, it's Charlie with Journey's End. So the following little adventure or repair was to replace our outside light. Um, everything on our unit is incandescent bulbs and I set out to just change our outside light. Which I eventually did, there it is. Um, and so I ordered a new one. I, you'll see it following this in the video, um, I checked for power and did all the basic things I knew how to do. Um, but I did learn a number of lessons uh, in this, and hopefully you'll see them throughout the video. But the biggest would be the polarity on an LED bulb, which is what had me scratching my head and literally was driving me crazy. I was showing up with power up there at that fixture, and no matter what I did, I could not get that light bulb to light. I would take the light bulb down, I'd put power directly to it, put a positive on it right off of my little battery power, and I'd get the light bulb to light up. I'd put it back up there, it wouldn't light up. Common sense should have told me something was wrong, uh, but maybe I'm a little slow. So anyway, uh, watch the video, I hope you like it, um, and I hope that it can save you some trouble in the future if you're actually doing anything like that and converting what would be incandescent to then um, you know, something that's LED. And also to be aware that we actually, they, they I guess, crossed the wires or wired it you know, wired it wrong, so their hot was no longer hot. Their hot was actually the ground, and the ground was actually the hot. So I had to reverse the wires um, or switch them over from, you know, so when you look at the, the bulb itself or the fixture, you'll see that I went from black to white and then from white to black, and that's the only way I was able to get it to light up because it has to have the positive only on the positive side on an LED. On an incandescent, it doesn't matter. You can reverse them, and it lights up either way. So uh, I hope you get something out of it, and if you do, uh, give us a you know, a, a thumbs up, thumbs down if you're bored, and uh, please subscribe if you're looking for more adventure and or repair videos. Thank you. Okay, removed the lens cover. Then there's just these two screws here. I'm gonna remove them with a Phillips. Once I pop these screws out, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut the caulk from around the edge where it seals it against the camper. And I'll get that cut back, and then I will remove this light, pull it forward, and then there should be some electrical connections and I'll take care of those also. And there we go. I just gotta clean that up and get to my wires. All right, cleaned all that goop off of there. There's quite a bit of it, took a little time. And then uh, wiped that area down the wires are pretty much prepped. I'm going to go ahead and set up to uh, install the new light. I'm going to clean up underneath a little bit more and then I'll install the new light. All right, cut the wires off the original lighting and then we're going to go ahead and set this up to connect to the new light. There is a plug connection inside here, uh, but and the new light doesn't come with it anyway and I was trying to get it out and it's real tight in there. So I don't know if they got caulk on it or if it's caught on something or the wire's tight, but I think it's just as easy to go ahead, cut these back and then I'll uh, wire and I'm gonna get them get together, seal them and then put them up into that hole before setting the base plate on the new lamp. Okay, I connected the ground first, made sure the power was out when I originally took the light off. And then I'll take the positive lead, which are the black, and it's all 12 volt anyway. And then I'll just cross them and twist them together. We'll put that wire nut on, and then I'll go ahead and put some shrink wrap on it when I'm done. So when I stuff it in the hole there, that can't get wet. And that should take care of the wiring, and then I'll mount the uh, base plate. I cleaned everything up pretty good. I'm just gonna have to polish when I'm done from all the thinner that I used. And then this is ready to be set. I'm gonna make sure my harness is inside the edge of the hole that they cut. And then I'll go ahead and I'll redrill some holes to set this and uh, get it set and test it. Okay, so I connected the wires before connecting the new light anyway. Uh, and I wasn't getting any light out of the bulb. So I'll check that next, but I took my meter and I went ahead and I tested everything right up to the bulb. I went here and had power and then I shut off the switch to make sure that the shut off switch was working. Um, but so the good news is I have power in here, so I was able to go ahead and set the the light fixture, and then I'll deal with the light bulb separately. Um, it looks like I could just you know get another bulb um, or see what the deal is with this one why it's not working. So I connected everything the way one would have thought it should have been. I did 
to hot to hot. You know, so black to black and white to white. And it would not light up the light. And what's funny is they reversed the wiring. And I was talking to my brother. Thank you, Tom. And I was saying, I don't get it. I've got 12 volts. I, you know, everything's coming up there. I tested the light directly to it. And then he explained to me that LEDs will not work on reverse polarity like a regular light bulb is forgiving. So they actually wired it differently than I would have, I guess. Or it should have been, I think. But anyway, I just had to reverse the, the leads and now the LED works. But talk about a, a, a brain scratcher. I really wasn't sure what the heck uh, was happening. I couldn't get it to come on at all. All the other lights came on and that wouldn't come on. Test the bulb, it came on. I tested everything to power, but when I was testing with the meter, I was using the ground and the positive. But, so of course I was picking up power, but it was just reverse polarity. So, lesson learned. Okay, did the bulb. Uh, put the new lens on. I gotta clean it up and polish a little bit more around it. Because uh, the thinner breaks everything down. So, but I'll clean it up a little bit more. And uh, good test and good advice for the future. And I'm glad I did it was test for power before I kept going. And then I tested the switch to see if I could see the light bulb. It is LED, so at first I doubted myself and thought maybe I'm just not seeing it. I'm uh, not seeing the LED. But uh, that wasn't the case. So, new bulb, all good. So, a final note, final thought. Um, LEDs have to be run in one particular direction. So, but if you do it the right way, even if the colors don't match and you get confused when you find the right way, let there be light. Uh -huh. Has anybody have anything like this happen? Because this one drove me a little bit nuts. Let me know.